I cannot wait to meet him. It's been ages since Constellation has had someone new. I wonder what he's like. Just go easy on him. Being interrogated by a kid ain't exactly the best way to make a first impression. I'll limit it to the really important stuff, Dad. This does not bode well. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons... Well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. It helps to have a good teacher. Dad, don't let it go to your head. <laughs> a compliment from little Cora. When it's not even my birthday. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? You a free star? I'm glad to be taking you back to the homestead. I had my fill of it when I was younger, but... It always seems to pull us back in, doesn't it? The three of us are heading to Aquila City. You know it. Capital of the Freestar Collective. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country. Spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. I know, it's dangerous. That's why I needed backup for this one. But don't let the old children's tales about the Ashta get to you. The real thing is way worse. Yeah, don't piss off the Freestar Rangers. As far as the Collective is concerned, they're judge, jury, and executioner. They're the good guys, but that don't make them any less dangerous. Outside that, just don't be an asshole. I guess it wouldn't hurt. We just got back from a supply run anyway. Let me know when you're ready. Guess you'll be coming with us, huh? I want to fly my own ship and go all over the place. Like you and Dad, really. But hopefully not as crazy as your travels. I thought Dad's were exciting. But yours? Burr. It's the best. I met another kid my age who hadn't been on a starship once. Not even once! Same boring old planet for like years. She didn't even know how to replace a phase manifold. Can you imagine? I read. I look around the ship, but no touching. Dad lets me do all sorts of stuff on his ship. But he said I have to be respectful on your ship. But I could try to fix things if you ask. Hint, hint. You can ask. I promise I'll be good. Bye. You ready to head out? Okay. We'll meet you on board your ship. Talk more when we get there. Once we land on Aquila, it's gonna be you and me. So if you want to do any freewheeling before then, Cora and I will just be riding passenger. So, I hear you've been making do yourself you pretty need useful something, on ship, Cora. I have, Dad. I want to be as good a co-pilot for the captain as I am for you. Well, you're doing a great job, String Bean. I'm proud of you. What do you say we get you a new outfit next time we're planet side? It still fits, Dad. And I love it. Now, a new book. Hello again. Dad and I will be riding passenger with you. The most boring job in space travel. Yup. I've been his co-pilot since I was old enough to read a map. He lets me fly sometimes, and fix things aboard, and use the intercom and everything. 
I just have to promise not to complain about having to stay aboard the ship when we're somewhere dangerous. Dad says when I'm older, he'll teach me how to use a pistol. And once I'm a good enough shot, I can go with him anywhere. I can't wait to get older. Appreciate the lift. And once we touch down at Aquila, we'll talk more. You better believe it. Enjoy. Hi there, Captain. Greetings, Captain. Here. You ready? Because once we get started, I'm gonna be riding your tail till this is over. She stays with the ship, usually. Got a few more years to go before I let her swill whiskey in some backwater bar. There's uh, something you should know up front. I'm a co. As in Solomon Co., first man on Aquila. That tale I mentioned before? The one I think is connected to an artifact? It's something of a family legend. After Planet Fall, Solomon spent years mapping a cure. And he found a tiny little patch of nothing on his senses. The kind of nothing an artifact produces. He called it the Empty Nest. Said it was a place even the wildlife of Aquila wouldn't go. Yeah, sorry. Thought you were just being polite, not mentioning it and all. A lot of people who don't know me assume my last name is Ko because the name's so damn popular in the Freestar Collective. Thanks to Solomon. Once they find out I'm part of the legacy, things get complicated. So I try not to advertise it. Yeah, and the Ko's have been coasting on that for ten generations now. Solomon's always a larger-than-life figure if you read the histories, but if you just listen to a few recordings of the man, he was simple. Just wanted to keep moving forward. Because you'll find a whole lot of nothing. Gravitational anomalies are a little hard to pick up in an area with tons of starship traffic. Not to mention all the electronics from the city and security scramblers that the Free Star or smugglers on the frontier put down. Ah, okay, okay. Smart ass. This is why I don't like bringing it up. Solomon's maps are locked up tight in the local gal bank. We'll be heading there. We gotta get to that vault in gal bank. My life is an open book. Well, mostly open. Well, just ask. There's so many planets, moons, celestial phenomena out there. Most captains just sail through the great black, not even really looking, appreciating. A lot of the time, touching down on a virgin planet can be, well, uneventful. But every now and then, you see something no human has ever laid eyes on. That is what I live for. Korra has the complete top of its class learning videos and lessons. And I have to occasionally do some of the old homeschooling. Fortunately, mainly it's the videos. Around when she was seven, she could already see the cracks in my knowledge. Come to think of it, I think she's doing an introductory college course in astrophysics. Not being graded, like, for fun. She's so weird. I've seen my fair share of scrapes. Actually... <laughs> A triple share with a massive bonus worth. Some folks say I'm the luckiest man alive after making it through some real whoppers. But the trick is to always keep a cool head. Impulsiveness, fear, adrenaline, all those will get you jumpy. You get too jumpy, your target could be five in front of you and you'll miss every time. There's no next. 
I want to be exploring until they pry the boots off my cold, dead feet. I mean, Cora will go to university, and the price tag there is scarier than any jam we've been in. But for me, my truest love is the next star, the next horizon. <laughs> Sometimes means fumbling around in the dark. I think Cora and I can use some downtime, but you let me know if you ever want to team up again. Oh, and since it tends to come up, me and my Rugrat co pilot work as a team. That's non negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cora's on your ship. Hmm. <laughs> Why not? What do you think, Cora? It's really nice to have more company, new stories. New data? What? Data? <laughs> Alright. We're in. Let's see what the galaxy throws at us next. Ever since I got here, this has felt like home. These people are family. I hope it feels that way for you too. You better believe it. Enjoy. Enjoy.